In this video, we will see how to use associative patterns in Ari's Commander, also known as associative arrays in AutoCAD. You're probably already familiar with the Ari's Commander pattern command that allows you to repeat the same object several times. In AutoCAD, you would do it with the command array. The smartest version of array in AutoCAD is called an associative array. In Ari's Commander, its name is associative pattern. In this example, we are looking at an associative matrix made of 3D shapes representing containers. This is an associative array that was created with AutoCAD. We can see that it works the same way in Ari's Commander and we can use and modify it as we wish. Thanks to the grips, we can vary the number of elements, including the separation between them, as we will see later. Ari's Commander also allows you to directly create new associative patterns starting from scratch. Now we're going to see how we can create associative patterns and edit the amount of elements intelligently simply by dragging from their grips, or, as we will see later, also from its properties. Everything directly in Ari's Commander. For this, we will use the same pattern command and dialog. Let's see how it works. Here we have a block although it could be a selection of entities, since it would also work. We select Pattern, and inside the Linear tab, we click on the Selection icon. We select the chair. In the dialog box, in the Settings section, we indicate that we want three vertical copies and three horizontal copies. Notice that the associative option is active. We indicate the distances between the elements vertically and also horizontally. Click OK. At first glance, it is a traditional pattern. The difference is when we select the elements. Because we check the associative option, the objects behave as one and drag them from their grips to create copies. So much in one direction as in the other. We could even create copies both ways at once. Let's make another example with this cube. We select Pattern. Among the options, we write three copies for vertical and horizontal. We modify the distances for both axes. We select the cube. We also want copies on the Z axis, so we modify the amount of levels. We add a distance in levels. Click OK. As with 2D elements, we can select this set of boxes and modify the number of copies by dragging their grips. We can even modify the distance between them also from their grips. Being selected from the properties palette, we can vary the distance between levels with the parameter level spacing as well as vary the number of copies on the z-axis by modifying the level count parameter, being able to also modify the number of columns, rows, and the distances between them. Let's look at this other example. We have a glass square with a horizontal and a vertical stud on one of its sides. Only with this, we could easily create a curtain wall that covers the entire facade of a building. We select Pattern. Select the elements. We indicate that vertically there will only be one and the levels will be two. Keep in mind that we use levels for the Z direction. We enter the distance between levels. We also do it between the horizontal elements. The distance between the vertical elements is indifferent because we only have one wall. Click OK. Now we select the entity and we modify the number of elements through its grips. Or by modifying the values in the properties palette, in this case, to modify the number of levels. And so we quickly get our curtain wall. In this other example, we're also going to use pattern, but this time from the circular option, which we can also make associative. We select the box, we indicate the number of copies. 
modify the angle and press enter. We can select the group of entities and use the grips to get more copies. From the properties palette, we can prevent the elements from rotating. All copies would stay parallel. We can also vary the number of levels and the distance between them. In the end, starting from a simple box, we could create more complex shapes. In this case, even when dealing with solids, we could explode this associative array and perform Boolean operations, as we explained in some other tutorial videos for 3D modeling. Among the available options, we can vary the angle in between the copies. Also manage if the array goes clockwise or counterclockwise as it goes along an arc. In short, options that are very intuitive for any user. To learn more about Ares Commander, be sure to visit the extensive help that the program offers.